In this video I'm going to show you how quickly you can get up and running with an IP camera provided it's been configured on your network using Internet Explorer. First, we're going to have to open Internet Explorer by coming down here to the bottom left on our Windows 10 computer, clicking on the Start menu, and then easiest way to get to Internet Explorer is to type IE or you can type all the way out Internet Explorer. Then I'm going to come up here and click on Internet Explorer or I can hit Enter to open Internet Explorer. So now I've come to a blank screen on my Internet Explorer, or I would come to my home page that I've set up in Internet Explorer. And then to access my camera, I'm going to first refer to the label on top of my box. Here I'm going to pull up a picture of that label as an example. Here I can see the IP address on my camera is set to 192.168.1.109. So in order to access my camera, I'm going to need to type that in the top bar here, 192.168.1.109. Now I can click enter here on my keyboard and it's going to take me to my camera on my network. Here you can see it come up with the login screen. Now I can use the username and password on the label on my camera. And on this label we have the username of admin and then we've kind of blanked out the password here because we don't want to give the password away for this camera. So we're just going to type in our username and password here. and then we're going to click the login button. You can also click enter on your keyboard to enter the camera. Here we're going to be greeted with a please click here to download and install the plugin. Now this plugin is necessary if I want to view the video from this camera. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the download install plugin button in the center here. It's going to ask me if I want to run or save this plugin from my camera. I'm going to click run and then it says it can be can't be verified or sure want to run and we're going to run the program. It's going to ask us to enable the web plugin or allow it on Windows 10. And then we don't want to show this warning in the future, so we're just going to click allow. And now that we've installed the plugin, we can pull up video from our camera and live view it. We could also go into settings to change settings on our camera. But basically, that is how you pull up an Internet Explorer, pull up your camera, and log into it.